Hey guys, it's Jacqueline from Reader's Reviews, and I'll be giving you a tour kind of thing of the books in my room. And the ones I like, the ones I don't like, and the ones I haven't even read. So, let's get started. I guess I'll show you the ones on my desk. Right there. 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 <laughs> Alright, so let's bring it. Let's get them over here. Um... First one in this stack is Lord of the Rings, and my cousin got me this for Christmas because I like Harry Potter, but I haven't read it yet. I'm, I don't know. I guess I'll read it over the summer. I know this book came out a while ago, but I haven't gotten to it. Her is really good though, but I don't know if I like it more than Harry Potter or. But you guys tell me which one you like better, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. Because I'm like a huge Harry Potter fan, as you can probably tell by my poster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, let's get the other one. Uglies. Um, this is still laying here because of the book review I just did with Nicole. And I didn't feel like putting it back in its rightful place. But if you didn't see that one, I'll put the link down below. And I didn't really like it that much was like well you could hear all my opinions on the other video divergent like one of the best books ever my mom is reading it right now she's on page 227 and this is still in my room because of the book review we did she actually like was trying to read it the other day and she couldn't find it i was like oh it's in my room but yeah and then Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, of course. I need to have this, like, I can never be without it. This is, like, my baby. Like, the whole series is my baby, but this is my crappy version. I have better versions I'm gonna pull out from my closet that I got for Christmas. They're really cool. But yeah, this is, like, my favorite in the series. And it was just so sweet and, like, so action packed, and it was amazing. Alright. Plus, I liked that she wrote the epilogue really well. Like, you can't read. Really, most authors can't write epilogues. But that epilogue, that was good. Okay, now we have The Hunger Games Companion. It's like kind of a guide to surviving the Hunger Games, I guess you could say. And then it's like facts about the trilogy. And like it relates it to the Romans and all this other stuff. I haven't read the whole thing. I like just I just usually flip to a random page to start reading. It's really interesting. You should get it. It's by Lois H. Gresh. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but she's a New York Times bestselling author. Yeah. That's her. And I think she wrote one about like Twilight too. I don't know, but I don't like Twilight, so I wouldn't read that one. Okay. And then Last but not least, I have my Hunger Games trilogy set. This is amazing. My grandpa got me this for Christmas. I was so happy. All hardcover. My favorite was Catching Fire. That one was the best to me. Like, it got right into it with President Snow talking to Katniss, and it was just, like, amazing. So, comment below which one was your favorite, or if you're, like, reading the trilogy now and your thoughts of it. But, yeah, Catching Fire was definitely my favorite. I thought it was really cool. Plus, Finnick was in that one. Who doesn't love Finnick? Alright. These are movies, not books. I just thought I'd show this to you. This is Harry Potter Deathly House Part 1. My Part 2 is upstairs in my TV room, I guess you could call it. But it's still on my desk because I was having a marathon with my friends. Because <laughs> they're nerds, and over spring break we had a marathon. And then this is Goblet Fire. My friend got this for me for Christmas. This is like my favorite Harry Potter movie. I guess. Like, this one and the last one my favorite Harry Potter movies. Alright. Now, this is the book I'm reading right now. Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment. And this isn't mine. This is from the library. But this is the first one in the series by James Patterson. I heard they're really good. And it's really easy to read. It came out a while ago. But I just decided to read it. Alright, now let's look down here. I'll just bring you guys on over. Okay. Oops, my phone was in the line of my bed. So here we have 
the specials by Scott Westerfeld, whatever his last name is. My Life Undecided by Jessica Brody. I read this one. It's like a really girly book. It's like... It's not stuff I would usually read, but it's pretty interesting. It's about this girl who my thumb, has a blog. And basically her blog viewers describe, like, not describe, but decide her life for her. Because she can't make decisions. She's decisionally challenged. And... The author came to my school, so that's why I have the book. But, yeah. And it's really easy to read. And then Karm Club. This is also written by... Just Prody. My life undecided. Yeah. This is about these three girls who decide that they want to get karma. Like, to the people that have ruined their life. And then by them giving karma to the other people, the universe strike back and gave them karma. Which I don't understand why they wouldn't figure that out um this is my set of uh quidditch through the ages and fantastic beasts to find them because i'm on read books from hogwarts and they're really interesting so let's see i have like all the ugliest books in my room because i'm long gone from christmas because mm, a youtuber joey graceffa was um, raving about them, saying how he loved them, and, like, that dude knows good books. <laughs> so I was like, Mom, you should get me the Ugly series for Christmas. And so she got them for me, and I ended up not really liking them as much as he did. I still read all of them except for this one, the extras, because I don't really want to. I'll probably just donate them to my library or something at school, but they're, they're alright. I still have them in my room. Um, let's see here. And this is the Mysterious Benedict Society. And I started the first one at the beginning of the school year, but um, I didn't read it because I wanted to read a different book really badly, and we started a class novel too. And I don't know, I guess I'll read them over the summer. I'll, I'll get to them eventually. But, yeah. Oh! It's dusty up in here. Can you see that? It's so dusty. Okay. <laughs> and I have... Okay. Yes, this series is good. Um... They're falling now. They're all out of place. Okay. So, this... <laughs> Wobbling on my knees. There we go. This is... The name of this book is Secret. And it's about these kids, um, Cass, and the dude had two names. It was like, um, Max Ernest, that was his name. And they try to find out this, like, they get wrapped up in this whole thing with trying to find out a secret. And it's like, it's like they go on an adventure and there's these people that are like, doctors or something? I don't know, I read this a while ago. And they're evil, and they don't want them to fight about their secrets, so they want to kill them or, or something like that. And then, this is, this is the second one. I read this one too, that one was good. It's called, if you're reading this, it's too late. So book titles, they're, they're very catchy book titles. And then, this book is not good for you. This is like, this had a chef in it, so that's why it's chocolate. He was like, trying to make the secret chocolate taste or something. I forgot. But, <laughs> and then this is the last one. This isn't what it looks like. Well, this isn't the last one. This is just the fourth one. They have another one. But I didn't finish this one. I kind of got bored. And then the school year was going to start, and I was reading them in the summer. So I just stopped. Um, <laughs> no, that's not really good. I just stopped. Um, the Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. Yeah, I'm a nerd and I wanted to read that too, but I think they could have added the Deathly Hello sign up here, like on the page, like it said in the book, but I don't know. It's really cool. It's like cute little stories. I have two copies because this one got ruined. Let's see, like the crayon. Because it was in my backpack and my backpack was jacked up. Okay. Um, 
trying to look for actual books now. Now these are all like little kitty books in here. Okay, this will be the last one. It's the Golden Compass thing. Um, that, the Golden Compass is the first one. I guess the series is called His Dark Materials, because that's what it says on this. But I haven't read these either. I got this for Christmas like a couple years ago. I have a lot of reading to do, and it's just like my friends are like, you have to read this book. You have to read this book. So it's like I can't read every single book in the universe, but I'll get to these eventually like I said about the other ones. Goodness. Now I gotta put all these back. I'll do that later. Look at the floor. It's a mess now. Goodness gracious, all my books all scattered around. But, yeah. Now I shall show you my Harry Potter books, and that will be it. I'll get those out. <laughs> Isn't it big? Alright. Oh, crap! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I'm not the strongest person ever, but <laughs> this is like my ginormous chest of Harry Potter books. I got it for Christmas and whew, the stickers are falling off. My Ravenclaw stickers is falling off. But, um, all right, let's look, look in here. This amazingness. Oh. Yeah, I'm a Ravenclaw. Comment below what house you're in. And if you, any of you have Pottermore, comment your username. I'll add you. I'm Featherwatch1135. Okay. Let's see here. All these amazing books. Just all packed into one. No, oh, let's see if we see it. <laughs> there we go. Woo! They're all hardcover and they're like perfect. So. I wanted perfect ones because the ones I read, they were soft cover and they got really like messed up from me because I'm kind of like destructive, I guess. <laughs> I just ruin stuff really easily. So I have all of them and I treasure them and I love them so much. They're my babies. Okay, I, I guess that's a little weird, but I just really like them. And then. Um, let's see what we, we have. I have this Harry Potter poster book, and I'm going to Wikicon this summer, so Ivana Lynch is going to be there, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to have her sign the Luna Love Good poster, and then Star Kid is going to be there, and I'm going to have, like, Joey Richter sign for Ron Weasley, because <laughs> I'll probably never meet Rupert Grant, but... Yeah, and I have like Harry Potter ones and stuff too. Like, let me get one. This is Luna Lovegood's wand. I went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I got it. And it is so pretty and it's so delicate and so beautiful. Because Luna's my favorite character. She is just crazy. Look at that. Look at it. It's, it's amazing. And, like, me and my brother pretend to have duels because we're just like nerds. But, and I have the Marauders map. It's kind of crazy. And, like, I like to pretend, like, <laughs> I'm too old for all this stuff, but I like to pretend a lot. So I pretend like I'm trying to find stuff, and, like, I close it like this, and I put my wand up to ne next to it, and I'm like, I saw my story, I'm up to no good, <laughs> and then I just let go of this part, and it's like, woo, it's there. So, yeah, I'm a nerd like that. But, um, and I have the Elder Wand too, but I don't, like, I think, oh, yeah. Right here. <laughs> it fell when I was taking out the, um, books, because they were really heavy. Woo, that Elder Wand is so cool. Like, like, I'm the most powerful wizard in the world, guys. I have the Elder Wand. Yeah, in your face. I'm just playing. But I, I wanted Dumbledore's Wand, because Dumbledore's cool. And then, I hadn't read the last one yet, when I went, I think. So, I didn't know Dumbledore's one was the Elder One. And then I read the last one, I was like, what? Dumbledore's one, the Elder One, the most powerful one in the world. Like, it's awesome. <laughs> but, so, I treasure all my stuff. But, yeah, so comment below for your favorite books. Um, you know, what you thought about my library. You know, 
like before I said Harry Potter more, you know his name. Favorite book of the Hunger Games, favorite book of Harry Potter. Just whatever. Your Potter, like, your Harry Potter house, your Hogwarts house. So, yeah. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time. Like this video, subscribe, comment. Keep it coming. Bye.